The Office of the U.S. Attorney in the Southern District of New York has provided a contact email for individuals who believe they may have been affected by the actions of Sam Bankman Fried and the cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, to reach out to a designated representative and determine their eligibility as a claimant in the legal proceedings against him. As the impact of the FTX exchange continues to affect various companies within the cryptocurrency industry, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York is encouraging individuals who believe they may have been affected by the FTX incident to reach out to the designated victim-slash-witness coordinator for the legal case against Sam Bankman Fried through email to confirm their status as a victim. In a statement released on January 10, Prosecutors emphasized the criminal charges that have been filed against the former CEO of FTX, who is well known in the crypto industry. These charges include wire fraud, conspiring to commit money laundering, deceiving customers, investors, and lending to Alameda Research, among others. The prosecutors in the case have now outlined the 10 rights of the victims as per U.S. laws, which include the right to be safeguarded from the accused the right to be informed reasonably, accurately, and in a timely manner of any public court proceedings, the right to receive full and timely restitution and other rights. Ellison pleads guilty to fraud and FTX scandal. Caroline Ellison, a past executive leader of a subsidiary organization related to FTX, Alameda Research, admitted to committing fraud and conspiring with Bankman Fried to illicitly redirect funds belonging to clients. The former president of FTX U.S., Brett Harrison, has suggested that he is willing to reveal any potential unethical activities within the company, but he, SBF, pleaded not guilty to all accusations during his initial court hearing earlier in this month. Related Reading, Improved U.S. Enforcement of Sanctions on Cryptocurrency SBF's trial is set for October 2, facing potential 100 years sentence if convicted and with little chance of acquittal as evidence shows misusing the client's funds for lavish personal expenses, 